Eighth problem. Prepare Vamshi's account from the following. So we have to prepare. It's the eighth problem. We are preparing Vamshi's account or Vamsi's account. Vamsi's account. Now, the August 1st balance due to Vamsi. Balance due to Vamsi means the business has to pay money to Vamsi. So, when we have to pay money to Vamsi, Vamsi's account would be showing which balance? Credit balance. So, on credit side, we write in the amount column 4400 by being constant on the credit, we write by and it's opening balance. So, we write by balance being opening balance, we will be using brought down date being 1st August. 2014. Now, let us see the second transaction which is on 5th. It states that purchased goods from Vamsi. Purchased goods from Vamsi. If you journalize, it would become purchases to Vamsi. Purchases account debit to Vamsi. So, we have to credit Vamsi's account with 1500. So, we are entering 1500 on the credit side and stating by what is the reason we are buying goods? So that is why purchases. The transaction is on 5th August. Now, next is on 10th August, sold goods to Vamsi. If we have to journalize sale of goods to Vamsi, we will be writing the entry as Vamsi to sales. When it is Vamsi to sales, we are debiting Vamsi's account. So, on the debit side of Vamsi's account, we enter 1200, then 2 is a constant, the reason being sales for the debiting of his account. And the date is 10th August, 10th August 2014. Now, what is the, the on 13th, it states that received check from Vamsi received check from Vamsi. So, check means you know it's bank. So, our entry would be bank to Vamsi's account because Vamsi is giver we have to credit it. So, on the credit side let us enter this amount of 1000 which we received as check from Vamsi. Buy is a constant and being check we will be writing bank as the reason for that 1000 credit. So, this transaction was on 13th, so record the date 13th in the date column. Now, next on 17th, paid cash to Vamsi. We have paid cash to Vamsi, so the journal entry would become Vamsi account debit to cash. Vamsi account debit to cash, so the Vamsi account getting debited on the debit side, enter the amount 100. So, to constant and reason is cash and the date being 17th, the date being 17th. Let us see the next transaction. It is on 23rd, on 23rd, Vamsi returned goods, Vamsi returned goods 200. That means Vamsi has returned back to the business the goods which he purchased previously. So, from business point of view, it becomes sales return. So, what is the journal entry for sales return? We say goods are coming back. So, debit what comes in? Sales returns we are debiting. Sales returns account debit to Vamsi's account. Sales returns account debit to Vamsi's account. So, as per this, we have to credit Vamsi's account. So, the amount being 200. So, on Vamsi's account, on credit side, we are recording 200. By is a constant, the reason is sales returns. And the date being 23rd, the date being 23rd. So, let us see the next transaction, which is on 29th. Purchased goods from Vamsi. 500 purchased goods from Vamsi 500. The journal entry would be purchases to Vamsi's account. So we are, have to credit Vamsi's account, and on the credit side, therefore, we write 500 
and the reason being purchases. So, we say buy purchases on the credit side. The date being 29th. You are instructed to close the account which states that the account is settled with a 5% discount. With a 5% discount, the account has to be settled. The first thing would be to see which side total is more. So, on credit side, if you see the total would be 1600, we have 1300 as our total. So, take the difference between both. It comes to 6300. It is stated that the account is to be settled with a 5% discount. So, 5% of 6300. 6300 would be rupees 315. Now, so out of 6300, we are not paying 3001. Sorry, out of 6300, we are not paying 315. So, balance we are paying that comes to 5000. 985. All right. Yeah. So it comes to 5,985. So how we are going to record these amounts? Because we are paying money, cash is going out, he is the receiver. So debit the receiver. So the journal entry would become one C's account debit to cash. As a result, we are recording this 5985 on the debit side and writing to cash. And it is the end of the month, August. So, 31st, we will take the date. Apart from recording the cash, we have to record the discount. Now, when we have to record this discount in his account, on the debit side, we would be writing 315 and writing it as discount received. So, well, that brings to the end of the problem. Okay, the total which is 7600, we write it on both the sides.